horse and carriage This I tell you, brother You can't have one without the other Well, then maybe you should try your pancakes out, and then they'll, you'll know that they taste like rocks. I have to feed you guys, and all I get is insults. I'm going to sit down and have some coffee. I'm really walking all over, going, debating about going to the uh, nail frogs. I need a drink. I've been looking out the window. Well, like I said, we'll go for the mail. So, Rose, have you gotten your check yet? Supposed to get it next Friday. Next Friday? That is so long. Well, I can't do anything about it. Yeah, well, I wish you can automatically win a ticket and win seven million dollars. <laughs> but no, it's not that easy anymore. You don't even have any food. The only food we have is your rocky pancakes. And I am not in the mood to eat rocks. Maybe your hair is rocky. There's no rocks in my hair. Obviously, there's rocks in your brain. Well, that's what happens when you eat pan your own pancakes. You get rocks in your brain. Ugh. Bite my shiny fluffy. Trey, don't you dare finish that sentence. Whatever. Well, whatever, anyway. God. Sitting here in hard. Jeez. Wonder who smacked Trey with a hand of anger. Rose, are you sure you didn't feed him your pancakes? Trey, what's wrong? Nothing. It's obviously, obviously something. Ah, oh, there's my other hand. Back off. Trey, what is the matter? Why do you always have to know everything about me? My life isn't yours. Just leave me alone. Maybe I don't want to, and what the hell am I going to do with all I don't care if you want to get in my life. But don't ruin my life by it. I'm sick of everyone here. Well, Trey, I guess you smelled Rose's feet, didn't you? Shut up, Jeff. You're always full of yourself. What the heck hit him? Rose, I think there's something wrong with Trey. And both of us can't figure it out. What are we supposed Maybe to do? Maybe that a bug. No. It takes a day or two to get over that. Being sick doesn't make someone angry. They have it to can be because they don't want to be sick. It never happens to anyone. No one gets angry and depressed when they get sick. I do. Well, that's you, not him. Well, I get long. He takes it after me, I get miserable. You're not the mother of a cat? I wish I had a cat. You have two of them. What? Did you and Trey just like fall off a cliff or something? Great. Now I'm in the middle of this. <laughs> I'm not going to have anyone to talk to now because everyone's going to be mad at each other.
Hey Rose, have you seen Trey lately? No. Oh man. I haven't seen him for like probably seven hours. Maybe he's a trench vampire hiding from the sun. I wonder what happened to Trey. He used to be all uh normal. Hey guys. Jeff, have you talked to Susan? Yeah, but she has no idea why Trey is acting this way. I mean, we feed him. That's it. I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe Trey is having a midlife crisis. Trey would not be having a midlife crisis. He's three years old. He'd be having a baby life crisis. There has to be a reason he's acting this way. Oh, maybe he was bullied. I that does seem logical, but he doesn't go to school because he's a cat. So where did he get bullied at? Hmm. Most cats like to lay down and go, go maybe under the couch and go to sleep. They get bored. Yeah, but our cats don't do that. They sit up and back talk us. Jeff, be quiet. See? What are you going to do? Call 911 for a cat acting stupid. Actually, that's a good idea. Don't do it. Ugh, okay. There's something we have to do. I just wish it would warm up so we could go out. What? So we could take a walk or something. We're talking about a cat that's acting different. We're not talking about outside. I am. Hey, Rose and Trey has a lot in common. Acting weird. Well, I'm gonna go look for Trey, and the first place I'm gonna look is the closet. He's in the closet. Leave me alone, butt bags! How can it always be a bag of butts? I know how we can be all a bag of butts. It's when Trey is looking in the reflection. I hate my family. I hate my life. She has right. to go to work tonight. All right, Trey, sit down and eat with us. No, I don't want to eat your junk. Trey, you sit down and eat as a family. No, you jerk. I'm tired of all you people. Oh, Jeff, that way. Trey, you're sitting down right now and eating. I'm sick and tired of the way you've been acting. Sit down. No, Mom. Sit down. No. It's your fault that my life is horrible. Well, I guess I'll eat Trey's dinner. I'm just so sick of Trey. Oh, well, let's go eat. Let's eat. What are we going to do about Trey? I mean, he's just acting crazy. Maybe we should have an intervention. That sounds like a good idea. Maybe an intervention would be great. Maybe. 
I mean, he's only been here for three weeks. What the heck could have happened to him? Yeah, imagine. There's no way he could have been bullied. Why not? Because, I mean, you aren't always with him, are you? Maybe he was bullied when you weren't around. Yeah, but, I mean, I mean, he's a cat. He has no school. Oh, you don't have school, Marty. You know that. I know. Well, we better do something before Trey does something awful. I know. I just hope he doesn't, I don't know, commit a crime or something. Why would he do that? Because he's acting crazy. Well, he, if he if he was brought up right, he knows what's right and what's wrong, and he won't do it. I wish it was that easy. Right. Maybe he smelled Rose's feet. Stickers, this is no matter of joking around. But it hey, Trey. Eat my lungs. Trey, can you hand me the comb? Hey, Trey, can you hand me the, um, fork? I want to eat breakfast. Bite my shiny metal astronaut helmet. You don't have one. Oh, well then bite my shiny metal fork. Trey, you want to play bingo? Go suck a dictionary. Why do I live you, with you creepos? Jeff, it's time to have the imp intervention. Yeah, it's been five days. And the only thing he's been acting like is a stupid, angry person. All we have to do is wait for him to get home. I know. Man, interventions are super boring. It's not boring when you get the wrecking, rocking chair. <laughs> hey, Trey. Sit down! I'll be in the bedroom away from you twerps. Trey. Sit down now. Trey, we're tired of your behavior. Uh, uh, okay, Trey. So we've known you for a couple weeks, or I think it's been a month, but we're sick of your behavior. You're always acting rude, selfish, and you used to act nice and awesome. I didn't know you much, but when I met you, you seemed nice. Now you're acting like that. I don't know why. And we're sick of it. Every dang day, you just come over and you're just like, shut up, fight me, eat my shorts. I'm tired of it. And so of all of us. What do you want me to do? Get some drug to make me happy? Why are you depressed? I'm not depressed, you losers. Don't call us that. Why shouldn't I call you something that is a fact? Trey! Jeff, sit down. Trey, stop acting this way. I mean, we all know grounding you won't do anything. You've been stuck in a bedroom all day. Trey, what's wrong with you? You never used to act this way. There's obviously a reason. There isn't a reason, you dumb bag idiot jerk poo. <gasps> Trey, are you on drugs? No, I'm not on drugs. And if I were, I wouldn't even tell you. Well, are you? No! Just leave me alone, you... Trey, I want to go home and eat some pizza. I'm not going to want to be stuck here yelling at you. Don't forget you have a chair. Trey, you got to stop that this way and tell us what's wrong. Yeah, I have a headache now. There's nothing wrong! Can you guys just leave me alone and stop... Interfering with my life. I'm sick of you guys oh, spying on me, stalking on me. We are not stalking you. We're just trying to help you and all you do is act selfish. Trey, stop it. 
Trey, even I'm getting annoyed. Just stop acting this way. There's no way I'm acting. Trey, even you know you've been acting different. I did something. Why should I stay here and listen to you guys talk stupid to me? That's it. I give up. Trey, I don't care what you do with your life. Just... Just stop. I give up. I'm ashamed of you. Trey, I'm very disappointed in you. Trey, just tell us what's wrong. I mean, I'm not, no Jack is falling off. I... Hello, Trey, for crying out loud. Spit it out. I'm... I'm just jealous, alright? Jealous of what? Okay, no one can have more smelly feet than Rose. So don't be jealous. No! I mean... Yeah, wait, I gotta say something. I'm just jealous of how... I'm just jealous, okay? I don't know how to explain it. Tell us what will help you. I'm jealous of how... All of you care about each other. We care about you. We try to get you better for the last few weeks. Trey, we wouldn't have done this intervention for you if we didn't care about you. Oh, that's just great. As soon as I leave, Trey finally spits it out. Look, I'm sorry for the way I've been acting. I'm just frustrated that I'm, I live with a family that doesn't have money, doesn't have food. We Trent, we have money. It's just that, you know, it's all spent on bills. And then we only have five bucks for food. Well, look, I'm sorry for the way I've been acting. I'm too. And you're grounded for four weeks for calling us names for the past five weeks! Yeah, I was expecting that. Alright, bye. I'll see you guys when I'm done being grabbed, which is five weeks. I would just like to sit down for a half an hour. Well, I guess it's time to put all these chairs back.